Hey guys, Jacob Howard here with FPV Unlocked, and today on Tuesday Tech Tips, we're going to be looking at how to change your VTX power settings within CLI in Betaflight. So first off, we're going to connect our drone. We're going to go down to CLI on the bottom left. And if you haven't watched our video about CLI getting started in it, definitely go watch that right now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get VTX, and I'm going to look at all my VTX settings. So you can see right here, we got VTX power, which our loud range is from zero to four and we have VTX low power disarm. These are the two things that we're gonna be looking at in this video. So in this case, I have an Emacs Hawk Pro attached to Betaflight. Uh, it has a range of 25 milliwatts to 200 milliwatts. Obviously the higher the milliwatt uh, range, the further usually you can get with your video and the better quality it'll be. So in this case, it's at one of the lower settings, so one. So if I wanna set that to where it does 200 milliwatts, then I can come in here and I can say set VTX and I can just use my controls so I can uh, go down with my down buttons to VTX power, hit tab, hit tab again, and now I have the allowed range. If I go to four, that's gonna do my max setting. So that's gonna bring it all the way up to 200 milliwatts. So if I click enter here, that's going to set it, and then I can click save and enter. It's gonna reboot it, and then I'm gonna verify that it did change it. So I can come into here, once again to CLI, click get VTX, go down to power and click enter, and you can see it changed the VTX power to four. So another thing you wanna look at though, is if you had a VTX that could go up to, you know, a thousand milliwatts, um, your VTX can get very overheated very quickly. So you may wa not want it to be doing full power all the time uh, before you arm it or whatever before a race, cause you might turn it on and wait for a couple or 30 seconds or so before actually flying. So you don't want it getting overheated. So what you can do is you can go in here and you can click uh, get, VTX, and we're gonna to go to low power disarm. I'm gonna click enter, and you'll see you have three different options. You have off, on, and until first arm. So right now it's off, so it's not going to do low power uh, when it's disarmed. So that means it's going to do 200 milliwatts all the time. So on means that anytime it's disarmed, it's going to be in low power mode or 25 milliwatts. So for example, if you don't have it armed yet, it's gonna be at 25 milliwatts, it's gonna try and keep itself cool, but if you go and fly, let's say a mile and you crash and you disarm it, as soon as you disarm it, it's gonna go back to 25 milliwatts, which means you're not probably gonna have any signal and you're going to lose it uh, because you won't be able to see it through the goggles. So you don't necessarily want that option. Um, for like, if you're just racing or doing stuff in the park, it's not really gonna matter um, whether you have on and you have it disarmed because you're probably still gonna be able to see it. Uh, but the best option for like something like I do, where sometimes I'm flying long range with these guys, is I'll do until first arm. So it'll be in low power mode, like 25 milliwatts, until the first time I arm it. But if I go and crash it and disarm it, it's still going to stay at 200 milliwatts so that I can try and find it. So in this case, I'm gonna go set VTX, low power disarm, click tab, click tab again, and go down to until first arm, hit tab, and then click save and click enter. So then it's gonna reboot it and it's gonna be saved as well. I'll go into CLI like I always do to verify, click get VTX, and you can see it is now on until first arm. So hopefully that helped you guys out with some information on setting your VTX power. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.